Wait a minute, because I almost forgot. He said, I met a shaman who was also an oracle, who was also a real estate agent. Y'all know I'm acting different because not I'm walking in the dark, in the rain. Hey everybody, welcome to another vlog. It's Saturday morning. I am getting ready to teach my first yoga class. I would tell you what time it is, but unfortunately I've been leaving my Apple Watch off of the charger for the past few days. So in the mornings, I never have my Apple Watch because it's not charged, which is really blowing me. Because you know, if you don't record your workout on the Apple Watch, then it never really happens. But I assume it's about to be eight in the morning. I just got up. I came straight here, set up the studio. After this, I'm going to go to breakfast. And today I think I'm just really gonna have a day in solitude. Since being in Costa Rica, I feel like my mindset is changing a lot. And I feel like now that I'm finally acclimated because now it's the end of week two. So I've officially been here for two weeks. Now that I'm finally acclimated, I just feel like I need some time to myself because y'all know when I first got here, I was hanging out with a bunch of the guests. We were going hiking and I really just took off running. And I'm not saying that I'm exhausted, but now I just feel like this is the perfect moment for me to spend by myself. When I first got here, I think I was just focusing on creating the content and really experiencing everything and being around a lot of people. A lot of the people have left. It's the off season right now. So it's the rainy season in Costa Rica. So there's not a lot of people here anyway. And now I think there's like three guests in a retreat here of like 13 women, but they are all entertaining themselves. And the three guests just kind of want to be alone, which is fine with me because I get to spend some time by myself. But prior to this week, the people that I've been meeting have just really been changing my mindset and just have been changing the way that I think. I'm gonna talk about that later just because I'm hearing people walk up the steps so I know that I have to teach in a minute. But my mindset has really just been changing here. The things that I want, I'm really honing in on my goals, really figuring out what it is that I wanna do. But yeah, let me go teach this yoga class. I already started eating, but I had oats, fruit. So I just left breakfast. I am sitting on the little meditation deck that I low-key just found out about two days ago. But I like it because it's a secluded space, just nature, all the, all the cute things. I have a lot of things I wanna talk about. I will start just with the people that I have been meeting. I feel really grateful for this experience. Having the opportunity to live at a resort teaching yoga you meet a lot of different people there are people coming there are people going and this specific resort is a five-star resort destinations that you need to go to on those kind of lists so it's a really luxurious resort and most people are paying anywhere from five thousand to ten thousand dollars to be here being around people who can just drop ten thousand dollars on a vacation is kind of life-changing just because we're both learning from each other because I like to think of myself as a very intellectual, deep individual. So like they're learning from me on a spiritual level, I feel like, but I think that I am learning from them. I don't want to say on a material level, but 
kind of the other day i met a black woman millionaire here which is crazy like i said there aren't really a lot of black people i don't know if i said that in this vlog but y'all know it ain't it ain't too many of us around here so when i do see somebody black of course i'm going up to them hi my name's romani i'm the yoga teacher here so we got to talking and she just really opened my mind up to possibilities she was like you need to do this and you need to do this and i'm gonna help you get into this resort and i'm gonna help you do this and it felt really good to have access because i think that a lot of times we are talented we just don't have the access to get to those higher places we don't have the resources and i mean luckily i've been able to get myself <clears throat> into this space just by way of social media email the gift of gab i've been able to get myself here but it is easier when somebody's able to walk you through and help you then i'm just happy that i'm meeting people who i feel like we're gonna be cool for the rest of my life it's crazy because obviously i'm like the youngest person here i'm 25 everybody that i'm talking to is 35 and up me and my best friend was on the phone the other day and i was telling her about this woman that i've been hanging out with but she left now but she's this australian woman from Aust I was about to say this Australian woman from Australia she's this Australian woman and we was hanging out every single day her name is Josephine and it's crazy because I was telling my best friend Paige I'm sure y'all will see her in another vlog soon because I'm gonna see her soon but I was telling Paige that I've been hanging out with this woman and <laughs> I told her that I couldn't get Josephine's phone number. I was like, you know, we're going to be emailing. And she's like, how old is this woman? And I'm like, she's 57. She's like, Romani, you're hanging out with 57 year olds. I thought Josephine was like in her 30s. I'm like, baby, Josephine is going to be 60. But I say that to say I can really get along with anybody. It just depends on the spirit and the energy of the person. It doesn't really like the age don't really bother me. My mom is in her 50s and we're cool. So anybody around that age you know what I mean like I can relate to them but I did tell y'all that there is a retreat here so this woman she brought 13 women or 12 other women here and they are doing like a wine and waterfalls retreat nonetheless they're all black women so most of them just want to help me out so girl this woman gave me so many snacks from Trader Joe's and the guests here they get these little cookies and they don't be giving me the cookies here so I had to ask the head chef yesterday and he started making me the cookies so I got my first cookie yesterday I don't think it's really a cookie I think it's like nuts oats I'm out here eating a gluten-free dairy-free damn near vegetarian vegan diet so anything that tastes sweet is gonna be good to me nonetheless she gave me a anyway she gave me a huge bag of food so we're gonna see what's in this so she gave me a brown paper bag of the trader joe's um snacks and y'all know girl i love trader joe's and then she gave me like the little cookies and i love you gotta look up in the tree sometimes make sure there ain't nothing up there i love the cookies she got me some trail mix crackers well she didn't get them for me she got them for herself but she was like oh you need some snacks sweet plantain chips oatmeal probably not gonna eat those truth bar so she gave me some snacks y'all know i haven't really been having snacks my agreement here is that i get three free meals and then josephine bought me a mocktail the other day so that's all i've had girl three free meals and a mocktail i'm not complaining though then another guest gave me the seven husbands of evelyn hugo this is my little bookmark the seven husbands of evelyn hugo it's been on my list and i just started reading that so i'm so glad that she was able to give it to me so today honestly i'm just taking some time to sit here read journal i'm kind of staying off social media today to have my journal right here and uh yeah i'm just going to write down just some of my thoughts how i'm feeling the goals that i have because I'm Creating this travel content, I really want to make this a career. I know that I'm staying at this resort for free being a yoga instructor, and I do enjoy being a traveling yoga instructor, so I do want to continue doing that, but I want to get to the point where I'm able to stay for free at hotels because they are seeing this kind of content. That's going to be a goal for me, so I just want to write down all of my goals, and I just want to... <laughs> okay. I'm, I have to find, I gotta find another place to go. The meditation deck is not giving meditation.
my room is honestly a mess i was not expecting y'all to walk in on this i'm not frustrated because i don't i don't want to call it frustrated little things keep getting on my nerves like the fact that i have to record everything on my front camera because for some reason my back camera keeps going out and i honestly since i want to do this full time and i want to make this a career i do think that I need to invest in a vlogging camera. I did look up some cameras the other day, so I might um, I might just end up buying me a camera. If you know of any vlogging cameras, please put them below. But honestly, this room just needs to be clean because this is a mess. My AirPods are just out in the open because I lost my I lost my case. I'm not even tripping because I needed new AirPods anyway, but I just didn't want to see it go like that. But honestly, I'm hoping that I'll find the case. My Apple Watch is now charged, so we can put that on. But um, yeah, I'm just going to clean up this room and then I'm gonna journal, I'm gonna call my mom, and I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna relax. It drives me insane. I ain't got a clue, bruh. So what can I say to you? But I'm off day, had to fall back. You got everybody thinking I'm all bad. You know the truth. I was always holding you down. You down. Y'all, it's so funny because I just opened one of these little cookies and all I could think about was on Matilda when Miss Trenchable didn't let them eat the candy. That's low-key how I feel because why y'all not giving me the cookies like the rest of the guests? I get it. I'm not a guest, but like, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I'm not mad at it. Like, obviously it's not cookie dough, but it'll do. It'll do. Yeah, I'm not mad at it, girl, because I ain't had a snack in a minute. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the one that made me last night, he heated it up. I'm gonna have to go put these in the sun or something. Cause you know I ain't got no microwave up in here. So we have never had a buffet here, but today it was a buffet and I'm low key glad because sometimes I just feel like I don't get as much food as I would like when they plate it themselves. So um, this is actually pretty good. It's a salad with like chips and potatoes, some pineapples, cucumbers, and these little wraps. This one is like lentils and something. Girl, I don't know. I'm just about to eat it. Everything is plant-based for lunch though. Walking back to my room and who do I see up in the bushes always doing something? Well, I'm walking back to the room because it is most likely about to rain since I'm here during the rainy season. So I only spend a handful of time outside for real. I actually need to do my laundry so I might need to go back out there. Since I was complaining about the bugs so much, they put a dehumidifier in my room and so it collects all the moisture. So it basically makes it unbearable for like bugs to live in here, but it went out. So that means that it's cool. And so I basically just need to dump this water in the shower. So once it's all done, just put this back in. We are cooking with grease, baby. I didn't set up for class because 
it's raining and I'm, I don't know if anybody's coming. All right, girls, time to hit the streets. It's like, no, nah, y'all know I have been at this resort for two weeks. I literally haven't left mainly because we live on a mountain and the ride up here was so scary that I really don't need to go down. Plus everything that I need is here. I know that a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but some people that I meet at the resort, they'd be like, oh my gosh, you don't leave. But honestly, every day just feels new and I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. So I don't need to be doing something different every single day. And like I told y'all earlier, I just found out we had a meditation deck. So like I'm literally finding new things to do every single day. Right now I'm on my way to the spa. One person did um, show up to my yoga class. Hi. Hi. So yeah, one person came to my yoga class, but your girl is officially off the clock. So I just took me a gummy, if you know what I mean. I hope that my eyes don't be red though, because yesterday I feel like my eyes were so red. I was like, oh, these people are gonna know. They're gonna know. So do y'all remember when I said I had a gummy? Might have had too much, just a little bit. I was just having a conversation with somebody and I know I was just like, what are we talking about? I was coming again. I just got back from dinner. Why? I was talking to the lady that gave me all the snacks and stuff and she said she was an AKA. I'm like, I'm an AKA. She's like, oh, what chapter? I'm like, pie chapter. Why is this woman my profile? If you're not in a sorority and you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's basically a person who was in the sorority before me. So she has been in Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Four other women on the retreat were also. So we took a little picture and that was fun. I love being in a sorority because one thing about it, you're gonna see your sorors. But that is all for today, girl. I think I did good. I had me a little chill day. I didn't do too much. I didn't go hiking. My body is resting. Tomorrow is Sunday. It's a new week. So I'll see you at the end of next week for another vlog. Make sure you like this video and leave a little brown heart in the comments if you made it this far in the video. Make sure you follow your girl on Instagram because I show a lot more. Well, no, I low-key show a lot on here. It's just different content. Go follow me on Instagram. And I'm gonna see you next week. I'm sorry, bro. I was so